Lakut Maran Torah, Tinyana, Simon, Tzadi, Vav. That is Torah 96 in the second section of Lakut Maran. Listen to what Rabbeinu HaKadosh says. Listen, Rory Nachman. Od Amar Linyan Ibodadut. Furthermore, Rabbeinu said about Ibodadut. Shayad Ar Kozal, Zarez Ma'od Bazel, Iyot Ragil Ma'od Biyabodadut. That it was Rabbeinu's way to exhort us very much to make it a practice that we are busy with Hibodadu. That we should converse with Hashem every single day. And Rabbeinu said, Even if you're not able to speak one word, or even if you're only able to say one thing, Gam ken tov ma'od. This is also really good. Vamar. And Rabbeinu said, Shafilu im eno yechol daber rak dibur echad. Even if you're only able to say this one thing. Yechazak bedato. You should be strong with that one word every day. V'yedaber oto hadibur echama v'echama pa'amim blishur ve'erech. He said that you should speak it out many times without length, without limit, Without measure, v'afil im yevalech kama v'chama yamim b'dibur zeh levad. Even if you are literally every single day saying over this one word only, gam zeh tov. This is also good. V'yeh chazak v'ametz, and you got to be strong, and you need to be courageous. V'yarbel daber oto adibur pamim en mispar, and he increased and said even more. With no limit to this conversation. He just kept going on about this. You should keep speaking to Hashem every day, even this one word, until Hashem has empathy for you. He has compassion on you. And He opens up your mouth. Like Pesach, the mouth that speaks. And you're able to actually converse with Him. And then Rabbeinu said, Speech has a tremendous power. Because is it not the case that literally simply a whisper can cause a gun not to shoot? And understand this. And then like when he spoke from this, he spoke about he bodedud very much. He spoke very much besicha niflaa in a wondrous, awesome way. Bechama minei lashonot, in many different types of lashonot, many different types of ways to describe the greatness of he bodedud. V'chizek otano v'zar ez otano meod meod baze, and he exhorted us and he strengthened us in this practice very, very much. To be strong and to continuously increase in our hibodadut between us and our Creator. Vamar, and he said, So know that his desire, Rabbeinu, his desire, his desire would be to us that all day, Kulo <laughs> hibodadut. That our whole day should be kulo hipodadut, only hipodadut, completely hipodadut. To be in a 24-7 state of hisbodadus. Uvalot kol hayom alzeh. And to spend our whole day like this. Ach lav kol adam yachol lekayim zot. Except people mostly, for the, for the most part, are just simply not able to makayim this. But, al ken bechreyach litzavot lehem, so if we can't do this thing which Rabbeinu wanted from us, meaning he bodedud all day, so then al kopanim at least we should be able to do one hour. Ki gam because this is also really good. So you see, but Rabbeinu really lahatchila he wanted us to be doing it all day. <laughs> but you know it's 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 hard to do something like that. For a lot of reasons. So Rabbeinu says, okay, just do one hour at least. And it's going to be really good for you.
אבל מי שיבלו ליבו חזק בהשם, however, who that his heart is strong with השם, ורוצה לקבל עליו עול עבודתה יפרח באמת, and he really desires to serve השם in truth, רצונו שיהיה לו כל היום היבודדות. His desire should be to be able to do היבודדות all freaking day. והזכיר אז מאמר אחמנו, and then he quoted חז"ל מסכת ברכות, דף כ"א. הלוואי שיפלל אדם כל היום כולו. Like everything that Rabbeinu said, that it was not even a Chiddush, it's all in Chazal. So in case you hear something that sounds wild, in Sefer Midot or in Lukut Moran, and somebody says to you, where does Rabbi Nachman get such crazy things from? There's a good chance it's in the Gemara that he's currently learning with his Chavruta. <laughs> says over there, Halavai shipalel adam kol ayam kulo. Halavai, that a person should be able to pray all day. Rabbi Yochanan, the great Tana, the great sage, 2,000 years ago, Rabbi Nachman, he said it 2,000 years ago. You hear Rabbi Nachman just quoted a Gemara. Okay, love you guys. Sorry about all the stuttering. My son is um, engaging in many playful acts with me as I'm trying to give this over to you. Bo Hashem. Right, Rabbi Nachman? Yes, you're happy. That is the main advice of Rabbi Nachman, to be happy. <laughs> And what's the key, he says, to being happy? You need Yeshuv Das. You need tranquility of mind. How do you get tranquility of mind when your son is slapping you in the face over and over you again? By talking to Hashem and Hippodadu. It would be good if you could do it all day, because then you would always have tranquil mind. But since you can't, one hour a day is really good. Love you guys. Perm